In this video, we're going to talk about our types of lenses. Basically, there are mainly two types of lenses. One is converging lens. Another one is diverging lens. Converging and diverging lens. So converging is nothing but any lens that is thicker in the center than at the edges uh, will make a parallel rays converge to a point and is called converging lens. So basically, a lens which is thicker in the middle and thin at the edges. This is called converging lens. Whereas diverging lens is nothing but thin in the middle and thick at the edges. Okay, I'm not drawing according to the, according to the scale. So that's um this is converging lens. And this is diverging, converging, and diverging. Okay, so axis. The axis of a lens is a straight line passing through, passing through the center of the lens, and perpendicular to its its surface. So axis is nothing but it is passing through the center of the lens, and which is perpendicular to the surface. Here is the surface basically. Here is surface. So. Uh, axis is nothing but perpendicular to the lens passing through it to the center of the lens now we already saw from the mirror equation in the previous videos focal point is nothing but if a rays parallel to the axis fall on a thin lens they will be focused to a point called the uh, focal point okay for for converging lens for converging lens, the focal point is going to be behind behind the behind the lens. Okay, so basically, all the light rays will come and fall at the at the focal point. Okay, that's a focal point. Okay, from the center of the from the center to the focal point, we call that as focal length. Usually, focal point we indicate with the capital F. Focal distance or focal length we indicate with small f. Now, power of this lens is measured in diopter. Okay, that power is nothing but uh, one over focal length. Okay, so one diop diopter equal to one meter inverse. Okay, so that's a focal point. Focal distance, we covered converging lens, diverging lens, and power of a lens. Now, lens equation. So the lens equation here is similar to the mirror equation. So, which is 1 over di plus 1 over d naught equal to 1 over f, where di is distance of the image. By the way, if you are following your textbook, they are using s and s prime, so don't get confused. So, it's a similar, to, similar to that. So, here di is distance of the image, d naught is distance of the object, f is focal length. HI is how height of the image, H0 is height of the object. So basically, say for example, here is an object which is um, distance of the object is D0 from center of the object to the center of the lens. Okay, and uh, height of the object is HI. Now the image is going to be somewhere here. And that's going to be a real image distance of um, image okay di now this is going to be valid if we have these distances like this so distance of the object is in front of the lens and distance of the image is behind the lens and focal length is behind the lens where if you remember, this is similar to the 
um, similar to the um, mirror okay we have concave mirror if you remember for the concave mirror you have focal point in front of the mirror okay and object is in front of it and image is going to be somewhere here distance of the object and distance of the image and focal length 1 over d naught plus 1 over d i equal to 1 over f whereas if you remember for the converging lens the focal point is going to shift it behind this so we used 1 over d naught plus 1 over d i equal to minus 1 over f okay so here if the focal for the for the meters if you have focal point behind we used minus 1 over f for the converging lens focal point is behind the lens we are using positive the, i want you to i want you to see the difference between those two okay now say for example for the for the diverging lens on the other hand the focal point is going to be somewhere here so it's in front of the lens so when it comes to the diverging lens we're going to use we're going to we're going to use the same formula but the only issue is 1 over d i plus 1 over d naught equal to minus 1 over f okay. sometimes this d i might be somewhere here i mean somewhere here this is the image so here is the object so distance of the object and um focal length okay. so now if if the if my image is in front of it then we'll end up with a, a di equal to a negative number we'll end up with a negative number if if the image is in front of it if image is somewhere here we'll end up with positive number okay so if we have di as a negative number that means the image is in front of the lens let me go with the, let me solve an example based on this or oh, before going for an example we need to know the magnification factor similar to the mirror for the lenses also it's the same formula minus d i by d naught minus distance of the image over distance of the object or h of the h i over h naught height of the image over height of the object so if you have magnification only 0.4 i mean less than one that means the image is smaller than the object and it is possible to have smaller images than the object than the object size and the negative indicates that the image is inverted so if you have a negative magnification factor that means the image is inverted here is an example a 2.8 centimeter high insect is 1.3 meters from a 135 mm focal length lens where is the image and how high is it and what type of what type is it uh, that means he is asking about um, whether it is a real image or virtual image okay and he's also asking what if f equal to minus 135 mm focal length is minus 135 mm so these two questions he didn't mention what type of lens is this is it a converging lens or diverging lens but by using focal length we can define if f is negative that means this is diverging and f if f is positive then that is converging lens okay so let me look into the first uh, case so in the first case we have a converging lens um, okay. and what is the focal length f equal to so right there which is 0.135 meters a 2.8 centimeter high insect is 1.3 meters from a uh, 135 mm focal length lens so the distance of object is 1.3 meters so here is an insect um, okay and the distance of object is 1.3 meters and he clearly mentioned height of the object is 2.8 centimeters let me convert that into meters which is 0 0.028 meters okay now 
uh, use the lens equation 1 over distance of the object plus 1 over distance of the image equal to 1 over f okay for the converging lens everything is going to be positive here so 1 over distance of the image equal to 1 over 0.135 minus 1 over 1.3 okay Height of the image is 0 0.227 uh, centimeters. Okay, and we have a positive number, and distance of the image is also, I mean, it's a negative number. Magnification factor is positive number, so it's going to be somewhere here 0 0.122, which is so this is the image. Okay. Now, the image is upright um, and it is not inverted. At the same time, this image is not real, this image is virtual. So basically, if I wear these lenses as my glasses, if I wear these lenses, basically, I will see the insect which is 2.8 centimeters away. I feel like it, it is at... Um, it is at 0 0.122 uh, meters away. Okay. Um, that's all. Thank you.